What's up, YouTubers? Hardworker12 with you here today. Today, we are going to talk about the Lane Centering Assist, which is this button right here, a little more in depth on the new 2020 Subarus. This system is currently standard on the all new 2020 Subaru Outback and Legacy and on the 2020 model Subaru Foresters. I happen to be sitting in a base model Forester right now, 2020 model. This car is an MSRP of right around $26,000. So keep that in mind uh, when we're going over this system. Now this is a little bit of new technology for the EyeSight. So just to give you a brief overview, the EyeSight is these two cameras right here that watch the road at all times. They can do emergency braking, they can do lane departure warning, they can do adaptive cruise control, a couple other things, and now lane centering assist. So I'm actually gonna read from the instruction manual, uh, both for me and for you to understand this a little better. So, lane centering, if equipped, the stereo camera detects lane markings, including bots dots, of the lane and the lead vehicle, and the system assists the steering operation by working with the electric power steering to help keep your vehicle in its lane when driving on expressways, freeways, and interstate highways. This function can be used when the adaptive cruise control is activated. When driving at speeds of zero miles per hour to approximately 95 miles per hour, which translates to 145 kilometers per hour, the system detects lane markings or the lead vehicle and assists the driver with steering in order to keep the vehicle closer to the center of the lane. So that is how the system should work. Just a brief overview of the adaptive cruise control itself uh, to to turn it on, we push this button, and now we know it's on because we get a little extra graphic there. To set your speed, bump that thing down. Once the speed is set, you can bump up or bump down to increase or decrease in five mile per hour increments. And then the following distance is controlled by these buttons. So if I push this one, I'm closer to the car in front of me, and if I push this one, I'm further away. I live in Southern California. In the kind of traffic I see down here, I always use the closest following distance. And then to turn on the new lane centering assist, we would push this button and then get that graphic there. So let's take a drive and see how this baby works. All right, so I am merged onto the freeway. I'm gonna push that button to turn my adaptive cruise control on. I'm gonna bump down to set my speed. I'm going to increase my speed so I don't fall behind on traffic, and I have now turned my lane centering on. So I am following the car in front of me. My adaptive cruise control is maintaining the distance. I do have a hand on the steering wheel. It's not a self-driving system. You need to keep your hand on the wheel. We're going through a relatively straight section right now and um, I can kind of feel some tension on the wheel, like the car is controlling it, but I am, uh, oh, I got someone cutting me off. I'm gonna let the car deal with this. There it goes, it just acquired the new target. So now I'm backing off from him. All right, so we are now going, oh, it just turned itself off, and now it's back on. So, the lane centering assist, if it's not confident in what it's doing, it will shut itself off. But right now, it should be able to read the lines and the car in front of me. Let's see, it just turned itself off again. Now it's back on. So I'm following the car. I can feel it kind of shifting the wheel around a little bit. Now we're about to go through, uh, this is kind of a a freeway interchange. I'm actually staying on the same freeway, but there's going to be a curve. You can see right here, it's telling me that the little blue lines on either... Oh, it is steering. It's steering. I don't know if you can see that in the picture, but I have my hand on the wheel, but the car is steering itself through this turn. It does want you to keep your hand on the wheel. It's not hands-free driving, so... Don't show up on Jalopnik like those Tesla drivers who are like taking a nap. All right, here's another turn. Oh, it lost itself. All right, I had to correct that because the steering assist went off. It's now back on. 
The system seems very conservative. If it's not confident in what it's doing, it will shut itself off. So now I am behind this car. You can see when it's locked in because I have the blue lines uh, on the lane there and the little green logo with the steering wheel and the arrows. That means it's on and it's active and we can read both sides. So here's a car cutting me off. It just turned itself off again. That guy's out. I'm steering now. I've got to steer. So you see here, it is currently, now it's back on again because the green, all right, this guy in front of me is breaking. The green steering wheel is on and the blue lines are on. I'll tell you this, if you're gonna videotape while you drive, you should use the adaptive cruise control on a Subaru with EyeSight uh, because you have less possibility of having a uh, serious mishap in a brand new car with 11 miles on it. Still following this guy. I'm just gonna kinda hold it there. I'm watching the road and driving right now to make sure, but I just want you to be able to kinda see what the system does if it loses the target again. But it's holding pretty steady right now. This is the first time I've driven one of these on the freeway. Uh, we're, no, we're not slowing down, all right. We're keeping it moving. This is the first time I've driven one of these on the freeway. Um, so this is a little new to me. It seems like when you're in real heavy traffic, maybe the shadows from the other cars or something, it loses the lane lines and turns itself off. But right now the traffic's not too bad. I'm going through another little turn here. And let's see, yep, it's steering. It's doing the steering for me. I don't know how well you can see that on the camera, but I can feel the wheel moving. The car is doing it on its own with its electric power steering system. And I've had about enough of this, so I'm gonna get this sucker back to the lot. All right, so getting back on the freeway, I have resumed my adaptive cruise control. So you can see right now, we're locked on, we're reading lanes, and we're going for it. And I've got to merge. And I've got to merge over a lane. I'm braking for the truck. And now I'm back. So now there, the, the steering assist is off. You see how that um, steering wheel logo is white? That means it's not locked on to anything, and there, when it turned green, now it is steering again. So that's what you gotta look out for when you're using this system. And I'm coming up on some traffic, and I am braking. And you can see here, it's locked on. I can feel it kind of pulling at the wheel to keep me centered in my lane. I do have my hand on the steering wheel, as you're supposed to do. So we are just cruising. Now we're braking. So just to go a little more in depth on the adaptive cruise control on the Subaru, even with the lane centering assist, even when it's all dialed in as it is now, this is not a self-driving system. I am still watching the road. I am still having my hand on the steering wheel. You do need to pay attention. Um, you do need to keep your hand on the wheel. You are still responsible for what's going on. Another thing to think about with the adaptive cruise control, uh, it's mainly meant to look forward, the EyeSight system is on the Subarus. So if somebody were to cut me off really hard, really close from the side right now, I would just hit the brakes like normal, brake real quick, take control of the car, and make sure I didn't rear end that person. Another thing to think about with the cameras is what am I following? You know, so for instance, right now it's not locked onto anything. Now it is locked onto this truck in front of me. I'm accelerating and now I'm going to brake. And I'm not doing that. The car did that. So I'm following a big giant pickup truck here. The car's going to have no problem figuring that out. But think about like a flatbed delivery truck, like this truck right here. If it had nothing on it, what is the car locked onto? 
Is it locked onto the back of the truck or is it locked on to the back of the cab? So just kind of watch your following distance. Oh, and this right now. Now we're just barely rolling forward. This is where the adaptive cruise control does its best work because I haven't come to a complete stop. I'm just barely rolling forward and the car is just taking care of it. If you, if you, your life, whatever, your commute, you deal with a lot of heavy stop and go traffic like I just kind of ran into here quickly, I highly, highly recommend a Subaru with EyeSight with the adaptive cruise control because it's just so much less annoying to be stuck in traffic for long periods of time because literally I'm sitting here, you can see on the screen, I'm slowing up, I'm speeding up, you know, we're braking, whatever. We haven't come to a complete stop yet, but I'm not doing any of this. My feet are flat on the floor and the car is handling all of this acceleration and braking for me right now. So the adaptive cruise control on the Subarus, which has been available for uh, quite a while now, since the 2013 model year uh, on the EyeSight models in the United States, is really a great system. And this new lane centering assist is nice as well. Um, just make sure, you know, pay attention to it if you're using it. Make sure it's engaged as it is now. If that little steering wheel turns white, that means that it's on but it's not active because it can't read the lines. And those little blue lines on either side of my car, if one of those goes away, it means it's not reading the lines on that side. In theory at that point, it'll just follow the car in front of you if you're locked on to the car in front of you. Um, but this is kind of only the second time I've driven a car like this, so it does definitely seem to work, but it is conservative. It'll turn itself off if it's not confident in what it's doing, so just pay attention to that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I was planning on making this video anyway, but I moved it up in the timeline at the request of one of my subscribers, so thank you very much for the request. If any of, other, any of you others watching have any uh, additional requests for me, Please put them in the comments and I'll do everything I can to oblige. And if you're not subscribed, please consider it. I would appreciate it. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Drive safely. Always keep your hands on the wheel or at least one of them and the other one on the video camera. Have a good one. Bye-bye.